Alrighty, we are working on some Chapter 8 homework problems on momentum. A little girl is sitting in a canoe. She throws a 6.4 kilogram stone horizontally forward at 10 meters per second. Calculate the speed of the canoe and the girl immediately after the stone is thrown if the girl has a mass of 26 kilograms and the boat has a mass of 45 kilograms. Now, the big idea is conservation of momentum. And the idea is the fact that the momentum um, you started with is zero. There was no momentum to begin with. And then momentum is a vector. So the stone goes in one direction and the girl in the canoe is going to go in another direction after the throw. So if the momentum starts out as zero, we're going to end up with the momentum of the stone in one direction is going to be equal to the momentum of the girl plus the momentum of the boat in the other direction. When you're doing momentum problems, every object, the girl, the boat, the stone, momentum is an incredibly simple equation, mass times velocity. So every object is an m times a v. So the mass of the girl, velocity of the girl, plus the mass of the boat, velocity of the boat, is going to be equal to the mass of the stone, velocity of the stone. And because of the fact that the girl is in the boat, these two velocities are going to be the same. So let's put in what we have, and we want to calculate the speed of the canoe and the girl immediately after the stone is thrown. So let's see what we can find. Um, I'm going to pull these two velocities out. I'm going to factor them out because of the fact that they are the same. So the velocity after is going to be the mass of the girl plus the mass of the boat times the combined velocity of the pair is going to be equal to the mass of the stone times the velocity of the stone. So we're looking for the velocity after. The girl, we are told, has a mass of 26.0 kilograms. The velocity of the boat is 45 kilograms. I found that right there. The mass of the stone is 6.40 kilograms, and she throws it with a velocity of 10 meters per second. So 10 times 6.4 is going to be 64 kilogram meters per second, and momentum does not have its own unique un um, units with its own unique name. So that's the label for momentum units. If I add 26 plus 45, I end up with 71. So this is going to be momentum, excuse me, velocity after times 71 kilograms. And if I want to solve for velocity after, it's going to be 64 kilogram meters per second divided by 71 kilograms. And 64 divided by 71 I end up with the velocity of the girl in the boat afterwards of 0 0.901 meters per second. Kilograms will cancel. I'll end up with meters per second. And that should be the velocity of the girl. Now, because this is a velocity, direction is important. What direction is this going to be? This is going to be in the direction opposite to the direction of the stone opposite direction of the which the stone is thrown. Okay, let's do the next problem. A 95 kilogram football player is moving at 4.1 meters per second, is breaking away in an attempt for a touchdown. He is tackled from behind by Clay Matthews of the Green Bay Packers, who has a mass of 116 kilograms. I looked it up. Clay is moving at 5.5 meters per second in the same direction. At the moment of the tackle, what is the combined speed of the pair of the players? So here's Here's my before situation. Um, before situation, here's what's going on. I have a opposing player. I have a uh, this this player. We're going to call him player one, I guess. And uh, this player um, has a mass of 95 kilograms, 
and he is moving, velocity of this player is moving at 4.1 meters per second, and he's moving in that direction. Um, Clay Matthews, Clay has long hair, Clay is running after him. Um, the mass of Clay is 116 kilograms, and Clay has got a little speed on him, and he is moving after him at 5.5 meters per second. So this is my before situation. Afterwards, um, after the collision, um, they are, at the moment of tackle, what is the combined speed of the pair of players? Now, afterwards, Clay is going to tackle this fellow, so he is still going to have some forward momentum. So give this guy the football, and uh, so we don't want him to make a touchdown. Bad player, bad opposing player. And so Clay is going to is going to tackle him and and pull him to the ground. And so I want to know what is the combined velocity of the pair after the tackle. That's going to be the big question. Now, here's how we're going to do this. Again, we're going to use conservation of momentum. The momentum before is going to be equal to the momentum after. That's the way we're going to work this problem. So it's going to be for each individual thing that is in motion, we're going to have a mass and a velocity. So the mass of clay, velocity of clay, plus the mass of our opposing player, velocity of our opposing player. Afterwards, it's going to be the mass of clay, velocity of clay, plus the mass of our opposing player, velocity of our opposing player. But because they are tackled, they are going to have one combined speed. So this shared speed, um, I am going to factor that out, and that's what I want to find. So the velocity after times the combined mass of Clay Matthews plus the opposing player. And then I'm going to pull all this down, and I'm now going to put numbers in. So mass of clay is going to be 116 kilograms. Velocity, 5.5 meters per second, plus the velocity of my opposing player, 95 kilograms. Um, excuse me, mass of my opposing player, velocity 4.1 meters per second. Now, both players are going in the same direction, so both velocities are positive numbers, is going to be equal to velocity after times their combined masses, 116 kilograms plus 95 kilograms. So, let's take a look at what we've got. 116 times 5.5, this is going to be 638 kilogram meters per second, plus 95 times 4.1, this is going to be 390 meters, kilogram meters per second, if we keep it to three digits. Add those two together, let's just get this whole left hand side down. I'm going to end up with 1028 kilogram meters per second is my total momentum on that side, is going to be the momentum after, and then the combined mass is 116 plus 95 is going to be 211 kilograms. So what's going to be my combined uh, moment velocity after? Velocity after is going to be 1028 kilogram meters per second divided by 211 kilograms. So 1028 divided by 211 is going to be 4.87 meters per second is the combined velocity after. Now the second part of this question, the last little portion, asks this question. What type of collision is this? Elastic, perfectly inelastic, or perfectly perfectly elastic, perfectly inelastic. This kind of a collision is a hit and a stick. When you have a collision that is a hit and a stick, um, the tackler uh, tackled the opponent and they had one combined velocity that is a perfectly inelastic collision. All right, that will do for that one. Let's take a look how we're doing, and we are doing just fine. Let's see if we can do, um, oh, let's call her good, and we will try the next problem on the next time. See you later.